because I realized that thinking led me to there's something wrong with this Amanda hi guys it has been a week since I talked to you it has been a very crazy week this past week Scott and I have been very busy with work and various things and I've had a friend staying with us all week and somewhat into the next week doing what she calls carnivore keto boot camp she's with us doing I'm kind of coaching her and kind of I guess putting her through a ketovore boot camp trying to get her on track so we've just been really busy this week doing things hiking biking which I haven't done in a while and a few other things as well this week I've eaten good morning my first cup of coffee this morning breakfast this morning excuse the mess we've got coffee my beef protein powder then low carb yogurt this is about 40 grams of protein together here dinner tonight cheeseburgers the cheese is reversed the cheese is on the bottom with bacon breakfast two eggs two pieces of bacon my pills a little bit of redmond salt and some water dinner time i don't know it's like 4 30 right now this is what we're, i'm having dinner i had most of it a almost a berry black cherry zevia it's got stevia in it nothing else if you haven't tried them and then i've added a little bit yes it's not carnivore but i've added vegetables a few times a week the ones that i can tolerate back into my diet so tonight we made look at this our first time making corned beef it is phenomenal by the way and then i have just a little bit of grilled asparagus that one's kind of burnt there we won't tell scott though first meal for this morning protein shake that says the beef protein shake and then this is 170 grams of greek yogurt second meal of the day two eggs two pieces of bacon vitamin d hydroxychloroquine for autoimmune my happy pill my multivitamin with k2 in it to pair with the d and remnant salt plus water wherever that ran off to tonight is rib roast this is horseradish with sour cream it is phenomenal in an attempt to eat more protein for breakfast i'm having quarter of a pound half a pound of burger meat a piece of bacon and two eggs dinner tonight is beef short ribs with collard greens and delicious bacon next oh look i dumped coffee on my shirt it's seven o'clock and i need more protein so i'm having one of the beef protein shakes and to get a bit more protein in my intake today eggs flank and ribs steak ribeye you name it I've eaten it. I have had vegetables a few times this week as well since my friend is staying with us and I've done pretty well. I have limited which ones I've been eating to things like asparagus, Brussels sprouts, collard greens. Those are about the three that I've tried that I'm feeling fine with. Will that continue to be that way? But I feel really good eating them. I don't feel any issues. The dog is also drinking water right now. Yeah, so that's kind of what I've been eating this week. We went and did some really fun stuff. We need to get some coffee and some heavy cream, some eggs, steak for tonight. But they restocked this, so this is pretty much our, co our Costco run. Taking a walk, it's very windy out here with the doggos. I'm going to see a doggo somewhere. Another doggo. So walk time. Going out walking, I've been with her trying to just slowly increase her walking as well to what she can tolerate, as well as working on creating tiny habits. The coaching has been amazing. I actually had a handful of new people this week. And I have to tell you guys, it has been just amazing seeing the improvements in their progress with doing the tiny habits, like incorporating that into what they're doing for those that are stuck or just starting things like that. It's been 
It's been beautiful seeing the changes. We did the Tulip Festival. I had so much fun today. It was beautiful. Take a look. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We finally made it to the Tulip Farm. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> These are just downright beautiful and gorgeous. To think that when we started this, I wouldn't have been able to do it. That's I true. wouldn't have been able to walk or just come out here and enjoy it. I would have been too in my head and physically unable. This week, I did not actually do any weightlifting. I'm feeling better from my sinus infection because that's what it turns out it was. It just a chronic sinus infection. The green stuff is almost completely gone and I decided instead of pushing physically stressing my body out doing the weightlifting despite the fact I actually enjoy it I felt like it was maybe just a smidge too much I've held off this week and I'm gonna start Monday again everything's almost completely cleared up yeah it was just a terrible chronic sinus infection that finally is being dealt with what else this week it's just been a really Honestly, you guys, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful week. <sighs> Seeing the improvements and other people's lives brighten, it means so much. I, I just realized I finally found what I want to do in life. I really love doing physical therapy with people. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. But then it became about insurance. It came became about meeting metrics, and I hated that. I just hated it. And I just kind of fell out of love with it. And now I finally found where I feel like my life call my life's calling is. Because who who doesn't want to see other people rise up? You know, like <laughs> what else? I didn't I haven't really had any hurdles this week. It's been actually a really, really it's been a really good week. Like I just it, I know I said that like eight times now, but it's been super good sleeping pretty well. I have focused on really having a much more consistent wake or sorry, sleep and wake time. So going to bed 10, 11, waking up at, at seven at the latest every morning. Eventually I'd like to hone that in and go to bed at 10, get up at six every morning. I'm not really a morning person, like a super early morning person. I do not get jived for that. <laughs> I'm done really great with the seven at the latest wake up time. Sometimes I wake up at like 6.15, 6.30, but having that kind of roundabout time has helped. It's helped with my energy. It's helped me feel better. Yeah. As far as net macros this week, I am doing decent on my protein. I still need to work on upping it more. I'm hitting about 100 to 120 grams of protein daily. Today I'm a little bit low but I'm actually kind of under today anyways with everything else. So I'm going to probably have a protein shake to get some more and then some Greek yogurt and that'll put me where I need to be for my protein. As far as carbs, I'm staying under 20 with the vegetables, not considering fiber in them. It's pushed me up just a little bit, but my ketones are still doing really good. My blood sugars, I've just been checking because my friend is a diabetic. I'm just like, curious and she's curious what mine are too. Uh, they're doing beautiful. I mean, my A1C is still perfect where it's at. Uh, as far as fat, I've been consciously trying to trade things out. So a little bit leaner meats for a little less fatty meats. Not that I'm going to stop eating ribeyes, but not having them every single day. I traded out um, bacon for some ground lean or beef, which was actually very good. I know people say all the time, like hat putting an egg over like a beef patty, like an egg over medium or over easy is delicious. It actually was because I kind of did it reverse. I put the beef on the egg. <laughs> it was delicious. So if, if you're having protein issues, here's some like subtle things to do instead of having bacon every day. That was an olive earthquake. Mm -hmm. Instead of having bacon every day, substitute some kind of lean meats in there to help get your protein up. And that's been awesome. Two tiny tips for this week. The first one, don't wait. And I don't mean don't wait to start carnivore, ketovore. I mean, yes, I do mean that, but that's not what I mean. 
Don't wait to do things. Don't wait until you're skinny. Don't wait until you're X amount of pounds. Don't wait. I've put off most of my life uh, to do things until I was skinny. I'll do that when I'm skinny. I'll do that when I weigh X pounds. But it's like tomorrow never comes kind of process there. And tomorrow had never come. And I didn't do it. And I didn't do it. And I missed out on so much pushing things off because I should do that when I'm thinner. I would, you know, because I might feel uncomfortable because I'm overweight. Not that I can't physically do it. Although it did get to that point, I physically couldn't do it. Just like today at the Tulip Festival or Tulip Farm, I was just was reminiscing on two years ago, wouldn't have done it. Even I physically wasn't in the place I really could have. But even if I physically could have, I wouldn't have because it'd be like, I don't want to go out in public. I'm too overweight. I don't want to go in public. I'm shamed. I should, you know, just wait till maybe I'm not so sweaty when I go out walking because 360 pounds, just walking made me sweat and it was embarrassing. However, I look back on that now and I am beyond glad I pushed past that, that I realized, so what? So what if I'm sweaty? So what? I can still enjoy things. I can still do things. And that mentality is what's gotten me to the point where I can now go to the Tulip Festival, no walker, no struggle, and not sweat, just walking around doing things. So don't wait. Don't wait to do things. You are absolutely worth it to go and experience and enjoy life, even if it's not perfect, because that's what it is, right? When we push things off, we're waiting for perfection. It never happens. We'll get to 200 pounds and be like, you know what? I need to wait till I'm 175. And then we get to 175 and it's like, you know what? Let's wait till I'm 150. And we just keep pushing things off. Tiny tip number two. If you're struggling, reach out to somebody. A friend, a fellow carnivore, ketovore, find a community, something. Don't just silently let yourself spiral down. That doesn't mean they're there to do everything for you or to answer every single question, but having somebody that you can be even a smidge accountable to can make a world of difference. Befriend people who think like you. It helps so much having friends, even if they're not in person, having friends in a community around you that supports you, that helps you when you feel like you're struggling don't go this alone. Like whatever you do, don't go it alone. Find some people. There are a lot of people who are now like myself doing meetups and things like that. Go join them. By the way, we have a meetup planned this month on the 20th. That's closer to Seattle. And actually I have the second one on the website too. So to carnivoresme.com that you can see meetups and you can come meet me. Scott, you can meet other carnivore, keto for keto people that come and do this that just come to have good camaraderie and meet each other and be supportive. So find some people to be a part of, to have them do this with you. It is, it's amazing. And I have to say, I feel beyond blessed to have met the people that I've met, to have made the friends that I have made in this community to be so caring and loving and everything. My friend downstairs, she came to my meet. She's been on almost every one of my meetups. Yeah. And this is like, it's an amazing friendship that I have with her that started in this community. Go make some friends, meet some people and just enjoy other people's company. It will help more than you can imagine. Cause if you're feeling low, but someone else is like, you know what? Giving you a hand of just encouragement that can be just enough to keep you going, to keep you from slipping off and falling face first into a cake. <laughs> That's what I would do. <sighs> okay, and finally, my weight. I lost nothing this week, but I also ate my maintenance calories this week as well. I went to do everything I can to not stress my body out. And something that I'm realizing is I am not in a race. I'm not in a race to get to the lowest weight as humanly as fast as possible. Because I realized that thinking led me to there's something wrong with this, Amanda. Yes, am I 
Am I not the healthiest? Of course I'm not the healthiest. I'm not, I have too much weight on me and I understand that. But there's nothing wrong, morally wrong with me. And trying to shove that round peg through a square hole, trying to make me lose weight faster is what has always made me fail. The, what did I say? Get rich quick schemes. The get thin quick schemes always failed. And I'm not gonna do that anymore. And so I used to feel like very self-conscious, like, oh, I didn't lose any weight. But I realized this week, I haven't purposely tried to lose weight. I wanted to hit my maintenance because I wanted to relieve any stressors, any hormonal stressors, fluctuations in my body. And that actually feels really, really good. It feels good to lose, or maybe not lose, but let go of that burden of, I have to meet some standard of someone else's opinion that I should lose X amount a week, even my own, like, but other people too, right? Because other people are watching this. And I hope if you're watching this and you're feeling the same, like disappointed that you didn't lose three pounds in a week or four, or whatever, that we look at, you know what? If we spent most of our life gaining weight and we spent a week not gaining weight, I still see that as a win. Because if I spent most of my life gaining weight and I didn't, then that's not heading in the wrong direction of, you know, gaining more weight away because I don't want to gain more weight. So the weeks that we lose half a pound or a pound or whatever, and it's not exactly what we want, we should still celebrate ourselves. We should still praise ourselves that we are heading in the direction we want to go and let go of societal, I don't want to say norms, but societal pressure that we need to lose it as fast as possible because there's something wrong with us if we don't. Like we're wrong for being overweight. No, we're just unhealthy. I mean, that's, that's what it turns into is we're just unhealthy. All right, I'll get off my soapbox tonight. Uh, this week, I probably will be a little MIA again just for another week because my friend's still here and it's just work, busy, you know, tax season, those kinds of things. So I will be probably in two, maybe the longest three weeks back to doing my three videos a week. I'm going to aim for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Can I promise that? No, but that is Amanda and Scott's goal. So just bear with me through this very busy time in Scott and I's lives. And I appreciate every one of, every one of you so very much. Olive does. Don't you? <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week. Get out, get some sun, get some of those steps in, walk around, do a little something new. All right, y'all have a good week and we, we shall talk to you guys next time. Bye. You need to keep your dicker to yourself. Bye guys. Olive says bye as well. She wants some just human snuggles. We've been gone most of the day. So I'm gonna go snuggle. Snuggle my puppy dogs tonight.